Veg lasagna is one of our favorite dishes, so rock and tasty, gooey and satiating. It's such a great way of getting so many different veg into one mighty dish. You can do your veg in a whole variety of ways, but for our ultimate, it's got to be sweet, soft, Mediterranean roast veggies. That's enough talk, Steve. Let's get this show on the road. I'm going to preheat the oven to 200 degrees. Firstly, we're going to cut the top off the garlic bulb and remove some of the white outer skin to show the tips of the cloves. We're going to cover with tin foil and we're going to set it aside. Okay, time to start prepping our roasted veggies. I'll give you a hand with this, Steve. I'll start with the peppers. So I'm going to de-seed these two peppers and cut them chunky. I'll chop the courgette and the aubergines and fennel into bite-sized chunks as well. And then we're going to chop the onions together, one each. I'm going to skin and chop my onions, same into nice chunky pieces. So once your veg is all chopped up, you want to get it into a mixing bowl. Drizzle over some balsamic vinegar and olive oil and give it a sprinkle of salt and a little bit of black pepper. And then get stuck in, get your hands in there and mix it all around. I've got two roasting trays here to make sure there's enough room so the veg are evenly spaced out because you want it to be baked, then nice and crispy and cooked right the way through. Now that our veg is in, it's time to start in this amazing tomato sauce. I'm going to peel and finely chop an onion. Put a large family sized pan on a medium heat. Add two tablespoons of olive oil and leave to heat up. Add the onions into the pan. Lower the heat and leave the onions to cook down with the lid on for 10 minutes. Give them a little stir occasionally. By giving them this time, they're going to release their sweetness which will balance the acidity in the tomatoes. So the onions are looking great now. Time to add the bay leaves and thyme. We're just going to cook them down for a minute just to help release their flavours. Time to add the tinned tomatoes salt, black pepper, and sun-dried tomatoes. Stir them in, bring to the boil, and then reduce to a simmer. So I'm gonna take the veg out of the oven now, and take the garlic out of its tin foil. Look at this, it's super soft now. Remove the outer skin and squeeze the garlic cloves into the tomato sauce. To get the best texture for our tomato sauce, a short blitz should do the trick. We're trying to get it smooth, but we want a bit of texture and a bit of bite. So now that the veg are done, we'll just add them into the tomato sauce. They look amazing, it just smells so good. So it's time to get our bechamel on. I'm gonna put two pans on medium low heat. I'm gonna start by getting our milk and butter and cheese out of the fridge and ready to go. In one pan we're gonna put in the butter and in the other pan we're gonna pour in the milk. The reason why we're heating the milk is that this is just gonna save us time later on. Once the butter's melted, add the flour, whisking in while heating until the texture's smooth and it all comes together beautifully. Now we're going to season that with a bit of salt, black pepper, and we're going to grate in a little bit of nutmeg just to give it a nice undertone. That milk looks just about ready, just in the brink of the boil. Just add it in slowly and stir consistently until it gets that wonderful creamy texture. So check this out, this is the texture you're looking for. It should be nice and thick and still kind of creamy and runny as well. Right, let's take that off the heat and time to add in some lovely mellow cheddar. Grate in as much or as little as you like. This is it, time for the best bit, the layering. So I'm gonna start by adding a layer of bechamel, a nice thin layer on the bottom of the dish. Bit a fifth of the sauce and just spread it out evenly. Then we're gonna put pasta on top of this, just spread it out so there's one layer covering it. Then we're gonna put a layer of our tomato and veg sauce. Then again, let's put some lasagna sheets on top of that. Then we're gonna put a nice layer of bechamel and spread it out so that it's nice and even. I'm gonna grate on a little bit of cheese on top of that. Then we're gonna put our tomato and veg sauce again on top of that, the rest that's there. Then put lasagna sheets on top of that and let's finish by putting the rest of the bechamel on top and grate on loads of cheese. Cause once this goes in the oven, it'll go wonderfully golden and crispy. Look at that, this looks absolutely amazing and the smell, the smell is filling this kitchen with just such a wonderful aroma. Oh, that gorgeous layered veg between that creamy bechamel and pasta. Oh, guys, this is perfect. So, so good. Definitely the ultimate lasagna. Melts in your mouth. The tomato sauce, the sun-dried tomatoes just give such body and flavor to it. If you do cook this at home, please, we'd love to see your photos. So just share them with us. Just make sure to use the hashtag LoveYourKitchen. Thanks many for watching. Take it easy and do give this a shot. Bye.